What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. In the last Dynasty video, we took on Boise State. Had no issues there, although they did come back a little bit towards the end. Scored a couple touchdowns to get it to a 16-point deficit. But offensively, we've done our thing. And as you can tell from the first to the third quarter, defensively, we've done the same. So we're fifth in the country. Today, we are heading to Louisiana to take on Louisiana Tech. They're one of three. They've lost two in a row. They pass the ball really well, but they don't do much of anything else. I know they run a spread offense, a 3-4 defense, and we normally haven't had any issues with them throughout this dynasty. So before we play them, we got to look at a few things. First of all, let's go to end season recruiting. Now, we had some issues in the last game. We had a couple of guys come and visit. Adam Hawkins, the halfback. He chose not to commit. It's a soft verbal only because we didn't have any information to work off of. And we had to pitch something. Apparently, he didn't like the pitch we gave him. Otherwise, he would have committed. But as you can tell by the interest level, I think he's going to commit eventually. It's just not right now. Hopefully, he will by the end of this game. So make sure you stay to the end of the video. The same with, uh, well, we can look at this cornerback right here. We are in good shape with him. You know, we're only going after three guys. So we're putting a lot of points onto these kids. And he's coming here in a couple weeks to the New Mexico State game. It is the strong safety that also visited at the Boise State game, and it was just a soft verbal. We we threw a pitch at him, and we obviously didn't throw him one of these pitches, but he didn't like what we gave him. So now it's just a waiting game for him to eventually commit. We got a lot of points thrown at the kid. I still think we're going to be okay. We just need him to finally make a decision. Hopefully it's sooner rather than later. Again, maybe it's at the end of this game. Otherwise, we're just fine shape here, mainly because... We don't have many spots to fill anyway, so for whatever reason, we barely get one of these guys. That's still fine. We got plenty of chances in the offseason to do damage there. Let's go Sports Illustrated. We'll go to top 25 polls. We are currently fifth in the country. Just keep doing our thing. Hopefully, we can stay in the top five throughout the rest of the season. Hopefully, luck out and get to the championship game, but we got to win all of our games first. You go to Heisman Watch. And it looks like everything is kind of staying firm. Tim Grant is on the list in his same spot along with Troy Petty. So not much has changed there. It looks like Florida State is having a really good season at quarterback and, and halfback. We go to Players of the Week. Looks like a UAB quarterback had a really good game along with an outside linebacker from Marshall. Those were your National Players of the Week. And then you go to our conference like a Fresno State. Had a really good day. A quarterback had six total touchdowns. Then a middle linebacker had a couple tackles, two interceptions. And I'm assuming one of those was taken back to the house. We go to conference standings. This is starting to get a little a bit more important to us. We're still undefeated, but there's still a lot more games left to play in this conference. We could check out our team info screen. Everything is holding pretty steady. Nothing has really changed. Looks like Elamimian is now leading in sacks. But that's going to go up and down between him and Jasmine. So that'll that's pretty volatile stat right there. Now we can go and check out Louisiana Tech. See what we're dealing with here. They got the injury bug. A wide receiver, a linebacker, and a cornerback are all out. I'm assuming at least one of those are starters. We'll find out here in a little bit. Looks like their quarterback is playing well from what we saw earlier. They do throw the ball quite a bit. They don't run the ball much at all. Looks like they got one of their wide receivers putting up decent numbers. And it looks like they got one guy leading both tackles and an interceptions, but that interception is just one. There could be a few other players with the same stat. Their last game, they barely uh, got beat by New Mexico State, if that means anything. Now, before we leave, we always want to, on the back end, check, see how Washington State is doing. And they are 1-2. I imagine they are playing today their next game is against arizona i think they had a bye week in the last uh, week so we'll always monitor this because this is the one team we'll probably end up replacing in the pac 10 if for whatever reason they finally decide to invite us something that, again that's still out of our control i think that is it i think we are ready to take on louisiana tech let's make sure we don't have anybody in trouble we'll check that really quickly we've had a pretty good job of not getting anybody in trouble this season and it looks like that's going to stay the same so let's get into the game looks like we're going to have pretty weather no rain at least 
it's a night game. We don't play too many night games. Just kind of depends. Not a huge crowd for this one. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars. Yeah, perfect weather. Between the Hawaii Warriors and the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs. Just about the middle of the season. And the great matchup we've got is number one team in the conference versus dead last. <laughs> of course, that's going to change throughout the season. I wonder who they're going to highlight today. I'm guessing Petty. Big Troy Petty. He'll end up in the top ten in a bunch of categories by the end of the season, as long as he stays healthy, of course. And they picked us to win, as expected. We'll go to the coin toss. They have won it, and they will get the ball first, which is fine. Let's check out their roster. Starting quarterback can run a little bit, 72 speed. He's a first-team all-conference preseason player. So I'm guessing he'll do some damage today, like we saw in the earlier. They do like to throw the ball quite a bit. They're not going to do a whole lot with their running backs. They may throw to them, but I don't think they're going to uh, run the ball with them hardly at all, according to the stats we saw from earlier. Look at wide receiver. They're number three guys, an impact guy, and he's not even playing today, so that's just kind of a weird setup there. But just okay talent, a wide receiver. Looks like a, they got a really decent tight end. 6'6", 250, 76 speed. He's a first-teamer in the conference. Can catch a little bit. I'm guessing he's going to catch the ball some today. You look at their offensive line. Nothing to get super excited about. Just a bunch of average players in the conference. Now, they do run a 3-4 defense. They, it's a 72 on one end and 78 on the other. 76 at tackle, so their front three is just nothing exciting. One of the linebackers is out for the season. They got an impact middle linebacker. So their linebacker core is going to be kind of full. Just makes sense because a middle linebacker, you need a couple out there at all times when you're running the 3-4. And they got another impact linebacker, this time out right outside linebacker. So I'm guessing both of those guys will be on the field quite a bit today. Corner, just 74, 74. This guy is kind of tall, but it's just a big drop-off. They, I mean, their third stringer's out today. So we should have a field day against this crew right here. Free safety, nothing special. 72 overall, just 82 speed. I can see maybe doing some deep ball stuff with Glover. Today, that's on his side of the uh, field more than often than not. Strong safety, about the same thing. 85 speed, 74. So it looks like we'll be able to attack both of those guys at will today. Bad kicker, bad punter. And I think I've seen everything that I want to see. So let's go ahead and get the show on the road. They don't have any impact guys on the back end. So I'm going to kick it like normal. Hopefully this will stay in bounds. And looks like it's going to be a touchback. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We may be doing a lot of nickel today. I think they like to go a lot of four and five wide. If that's the case, I will just do something like this and just play a lot of... Ooh, good defense there. I want to go back and see what they was calling there. I was just, yeah, I think it's the PA flood play. I don't use that play that often. I will go back to quarters just for going four wide. Louisiana Tech lines up in a shotgun set. We'll go with something like this. Ooh, dang it. We're going to get a first down out of it. I was just in a bad spot, just outside of it. That should have been intercepted. So they get the first down. Ah. Dang it, Al. I need to quit doing that. I dive and I try to select other players. Let's do a cover two high man just to throw something different at him. It's first and ten. Well, right now, I'm kind of giving them some easy outs here, just making bad plays on defense. A double tight set. Kearney drops back. And I just got annihilated there. Pick up a solid eight yards, seven. We'll go back to quarters. Second and two coming up here, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Do something like this, perhaps. 
Play action. There's nobody over here. Finally, somebody got to him. There's nobody was open. So that's a good stop. So it's third and eight. I'm going to blitz him like normal from the defensive end position. But it wouldn't shock me if he ran away from it. Ooh, did he get the first? I don't think he got it. Fourth and inches. They may go for this. They are not. I'm going to do a safe return. I can easily see them fake it, even though I, I rarely see the opposing team fake it. But it wouldn't shock me if they did. Hopefully nothing goofy happens on the back end. We'll fair catch it. Hopefully he doesn't mess it up. Good deal. So we get the ball for the first time today. We are on the left hash. We can start off with curls. Zone dime. I may just pass it anyways. Get a few yards, maybe five. He ran a good route there and was able Not to a whole lot. The Let's go tight end delay. They're going man 4-3. I think a linebacker is going to be on Grant. So what I may do is something like this. I think we got a better advantage with Davis. Nope, they're going cover two. Good defense. So it is third and five. All right, let's go half back out. They're going man. That's That was my preference. Hopefully we can make an easy throw to Davis here. To pick up the first down. High snap. Good throw. Right where it needed to be. Really good throw. Good catch. Every bit of that was great. So we're back on the left hash. What I want to do, let's sprinkle in a run play. Let's go speed option. We're going zone nickel. We're doing something like that. We can go to the left. Ah, couldn't pitch it out in time. Somebody went with a cute, I think they went with like a spy look at a defensive end. And I just couldn't pitch it in time. So that's good defense. We can go back to curls. And they're going zone again. We can do something like this. Just a bad play. He got bogged down. None of that worked well. So it's third and 13. Let's go tight end cross. We're going zone. This is going to be really hard to complete, especially for a first down. Intercepted. Bad throw. Bad throw by Petty. Overshot it. He's gonna come out. It looks like he was hurt. So that's not the start you want. Well, it look like it's too serious, guys, but you never and a guy got hurt. Those small injuries turn into seizing ending ones. So we'll get back on defense. Just a bad drive all around. back in the gun. Good throw. I just, I guess that was my fault. I didn't go chase him quickly enough. I'm going to do quarters at a 4-3. Our nickel is going to get used a ton today, and I just want to do something a little differently. Do something like this. Intercept that. Good play by Doherty. That's what we needed right there. It was a matter of time for he was going to throw it to one of our players here. That was not an easy play to make. Well, that's now let's see if we can take advantage of that. We'll go deep cross up. Go to work at the Looks like their injured players coming back. Work from the Looks like we're gonna have some room to throw. Bad throw. He went straight up. He didn't put enough English on, and I normally you don't have to do that, but it just wasn't very accurate. But that's okay. We got the first down. Go curl read. He's not to throw it down. They're going man. So we're going to do something like this. It looks like they got a corner on Grant. So that is a matchup advantage we can do something with. But they're going one high. It looks like we're going to get lucky here for six points. Just a weird looking throw. <laughs> so Petty is off just a little bit. But that was just a great play by Davis. He stopped. Almost intercepted. It was going to be close. We'll take it though. Supreme athlete. Great hands. 
So we'll kick an extra point, get our first uh, kickoff of the day, or extra point, I should say. And we'll get back on defense. And he hits the PAT. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. Since Grant is going to be on the right side, I think I can think of a couple of things to get him on the left because it looks like a lot of their impact players are on the right side of the field today. Kicks it off. Dorch fields it in the end zone. A little juke. That's a good stop there. Impact the player made the tackle. Uh, let's do a zone blitz. Now, this quarterback is always prone to running it away from pressure, but we'll try something here. Ah, dang it. He got away from it. It's just a good play. So maybe we need to avoid doing that. I mean... Give the quarterback a lot he of just got out of the way just in time. And really gave his team a boost. Let's do something like this. We'll go back to quarters. Drops back on first down. Thankfully, he dropped that. The tailback dropped that ball. Yeah, his technique was all off. Do uh, let's just go back to quarters again. I'm okay with that. Hey, if he throws a couple more interceptions just because we got somebody in the way, then we just need to stay in quarters the rest of the day, which I'm okay with. Play action. Nice play fake. Ooh, almost intercepted there. It was a great attempt. So it's third and ten. We're going to go cloud. I'm hesitant to go after this guy. We can try it. Intercept that. Good defense. Good job by Moss. So it is fourth and ten. We will get the ball back. We should get decent field position. They have a lefty punter. Somebody get a block on the left. Is it going to happen? There's not a whole lot of room. So we are on the left hash. Let's try safety attack. We're going zone. This is why I call this play. Even though they're going zone. The Let's go over here. Drops back to pass. He Terrible throw. He's just off the day. I know he's six for eight, but every throw is just like a wide receiver is really having to work for it. Go halfback angle. I'm guessing the impact guy's gonna be on Grant. Yeah, and that guy's double teamed. The Bulldogs line up in a nickel back. We're going to do something like this. Back to pass. He rolls left, looking. Yeah, just great defense. I just there was just nothing open. Did they go cover zero? I may have missed it. Nope, they went cover one. So I, I done it correctly, but that's just great defense all around. So it's third and seven. We'll go back and try. We'll go back to cross again. They're down in seven. Ball in the thirty-three. I think I'm going to let that clock run. If they go man, I almost... Well, no, let's just go ahead and call it. No, this ain't good. This ain't good. I had a... Yeah, just a bad play. So, we'll... We'll punt it again. They're just making it tough right now on us. You're going to have those days, even with a lot of talent like we got. Just things aren't going to click. Let's we'll see if Jackson can really boot this thing. And that's a kick and a half right there. He's going to return it, though. Dorch fields it at the 13. It's a good tackle. And now we'll see the offense come out out of so the what we probably need to do, since Petty is struggling a bit, is maybe we're going to just incorporate the run a little bit more. They'll get the ball here at the 17-yard line. we got to try something, because right now he's just a little off on some throws, and we didn't have a whole lot of room to... Across the middle. Someone got a hand on it. To adjust. That's a good stop there. Second and ten. I threw a blitz at him. Don't know if it helped or not. Second and ten. We'll go back to quarters. Play action. I swear, Al. I was right there, but they're going to get their first. Third and inches. They didn't get it. Uh, let's go... I think they're just going to run the ball here. 
Ace backfield. Are we going play action? All day to throw. Oh, he dropped it. That's we'll take it. I know that pass was a bullet, but you still have to look it in and We'll go double cross. So it looks like our defense is going to do their part. Now that was just all on the receiver not making a catch. That at least get him used to catching bullet passes. But what we saw from earlier, their wide receiver core wasn't special. Somebody get a stop on the left. Ooh, did you see that little juke? <laughs> that was all joystick right there. Let's try. Let's do another speed option. And they're going 3-4. This may not work at all. Okay, that helped a little bit. Comes out in the shotgun. Penny on the option. Got an opening. We'll just get a first down with Petty. We can try angle again. We're going man, but Grant is getting... Well, let's do something like this just in case. I'm going to have Grant block. Cover one. That's a good throw right there. Brings him down. Pick up five, maybe? On that Six. Let's go streaks. We're going man, but they flip their defenders. But I think we're going to be okay with Grant if they go cover zero. And they're going cover zero. Let's see if Grant can make a play here. I dropped it. So neither receiving core <laughs> is really lining it up right now. A good -sized kid like him. Let's go triangle. Like that. Zone dime. I feel like I have no choice but to throw it here. Let's see if we can make a play. Almost intercepted. That's good defense. So should I go for it or what? It's third and fourth and four. I think I want to go for it. I'm going to go tight end delay. They're going zone. Uh, this may not work at all. This may be really dumb, but I'm going to go for it anyways. Well, looks like the coach is going to take a chance here and go for it on fourth down. Good catch, first down. Who just enough. <laughs> you take the chances, I guess. So we are on the right hash. Let's do a screen. Zone dime. I'm okay with this. This will go to Grant. He finally will get the touch the ball if he can catch it. Good block there. Pick up eight. Decent yardage on the screen play. What we can do is stay here. Let's go PA Reed. Exactly what you have to do to make They're going zone nickel. Right. I'll probably just dump this to Glover. Get a first down there. What we can do is let's... You're right. It wasn't necessarily uh, let's go defense. back to Crow Reed. And the result is the first we're going man it's first nickel. So we're going to stick with this. Cover zero. Can he get the touchdown? I just short armed it. So again, one play is halfway decent. The other throw is just not very good. Just a short arm throw. Second and ten. I'm going to go back to streaks. We're going zone this time. This is the ninth play of this drive. Hawaii. Let's see if we can dump this to Davis. Petty, back to throw. Wants to throw outside. And we got the, some of the yards back. Well, coach, a short pick up so that's what, third and three? Uh, we'll go back to Curl Reed. We're going zone, so we're going to go to Glover on this one. Unless something is open for Grant over the middle. Bad throw. Good adjustment by Glover. And what we can do here is I'm going to go with option from under center. We're going zone nickel, so this may not work at all. What I may do instead is something like this. We'll just go with a more vertical run. Ah, just ran right into the guy. Went into the A gap, or B gap. On the eight. Let's do speed option. Zone nickel. So they're just playing good defense. They're just making good adjustments, and quarterback needs to really be on point in order for a lot of this to work. I uh, didn't get the first. Didn't get in. We're on the two. 
Let's just go slam. Thankfully, they're going with 3-4, so I should be able to find a crease. The Warriors come out in the ace formation. And we're going to get six points. So it, it was a struggle to get down there, but we did get the touchdown. And we're up two scores. We will get back on defense, try to get another stop. I'd like to get one more score before we go to halftime. He just seems to want it more than the defense. This kid has shown a lot of heart and desire over his entire career. Here's the Pontiac Drive Summary, bringing you fuel for the soul. We'll kick an extra point. Oh, we already done that. <laughs> we will kick off again. And Dortch set to return. This is going to go with the in the corner. And he got all of this one. Great he will game. not return that, thankfully. Fields it in the end zone. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last We'll go quarters. The offense is not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. Let's tackle a few as an impact player now. I just now noticed it. I may have missed something. Back to pass. He's looking down. Ah, dang it. First down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Threw it right where he needed to. But the I'm gonna do another zone blitz. Just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. Louisiana Let's see Jackson if we can get a stop here. I probably need to be who the went off tank when we're gonna get yards. Good blocking. They've called a timeout. And that was their first timeout. Right now, I'm not doing all that great in the open field. Sometimes I could do well, other times not. It happens. Ooh, at least I got in the way. Third and three. Uh, let's just do four, three, two high man. Let's they're going goal line, but let's do something like this. Ah, hell. He just went the other way just enough. So it's first and ten. I'm going to do a two high man, just see what happens. I'm guessing if he has enough time to throw, he'll hit me pretty hard with a easy man beater somewhere. Went to their tight end, pick up four or six. I'm going to try another zone blitz, see how... Second and four Maybe we can make an adjustment. Ah, just good protection. Can't get to him. Make a play, impact player. Wow, just what do you do? Just a great catch. Oliver goofed up on that one. I don't know. He just wasn't thinking. I don't, I don't know. He just stood there and looked at it. It happens. <laughs> So, we'll see if we can get that touchdown back before half. Like I said, you're going to have games throughout the season where things just don't click offensively, and that's one of them today. I'm not worried about our defense. Our defense finally gave up a touchdown, so I think we're fine there. I kind of wish our front four, which is a whole lot better than their offensive line, do something, but they're not. Just can't get much of a pass rush. I'll let that one go. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. We'll go deep cross up. Cross up. <laughs> we'll go cross up. They'll bring in their dime package. Penny, Looks like we're going to have some time to throw. Terrible. Jeez, what's he doing? He's off today. I just don't get it. Oh, man. He's just having a bad day. So they're going man nickel here. I'm going speed option. Hawaii sets up with four receivers. Somebody get a block right there. Pitches back. He can scoot. He's knocked out of bounds. Got out of bounds. It's third and three. At this point, we just we're going zone. We got to see if Larson can make this catch. Hopefully, he can get through there. And the impact receiver is in the zone right now. Get a first down. Let's get out of bounds. So it is first and 10 on the 33. We can try corner strike. I'm trying to think of ways to get down a little bit more vertically. We're going man here. Depending on what they do, I'm going to go to somebody on the left. Yeah, I think I'm just going to run this one. We'll just get out of bounds. 
And we got an injured player. And we got an offensive lineman hurt shoulder. We can check that really quick. I don't even know who that is. That's my right tackle. So we are okay there. Lumpkin is just as good as he is. We are on the left hash. I want to go safety attack. We're going man. We're going to do something like this. Six DBs in the lineup. Petty the going air, cover one. Down the Good throw to Rackley, but the clock is running. I need to get to the sideline a little bit better. That probably wasn't the best play call for that. They're going man here, and Spencer's out for two quarters. We'll go cover one. Ah, that's just a tough play right there. That's good coverage. So it's third and four. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. I'm going to go back to speed option. Zone nickel. This, eh, this ain't going to work. The clock has stopped. We're kind of in the middle of the field, so I think I may go back to that cross-up again. I could do cross-post. Sometimes it'll, I mean, we can try it. We're going zone, so maybe we can get something going on the right side here. Not a big fan of that shift. But it looks like we got some time to throw. Ah, dang it. What's this deal? He can't make any good throws today. Uh, we'll punt it. I just don't know what else to do. I mean, if, if my quarterback's just going to have bad days, then a bad throwing day, then I'm, I, I don't know. We'll come up with something. And th oh, this is going to be right in the corner, but it's going in the end zone. Calls for the fair catch. He drops it. At the one. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Oh, my gosh. Somehow that worked. I got in front of the ball. They may go off tackle here. They may run the ball. I didn't think about that. Yep. Almost got the mm, call timeout. We may get a stop here. Let's go. Cover two high man. We may get lucky and we can force a safety. So I was right on the play call. Maybe somebody can... Ah, ain't gonna work. Okay, we're gonna let that one go. All right, end of the half. We're up a touchdown. It's just a miserable half. We just can't get anything going offensively. The percentages may not show it. But as, as we can see so far, Petty's just been a little off today. We can check out some stats. 14 of 23. It's actually looking worse as the game goes on. We're putting up our yards. Again, I, my defense, I think they're doing just fine. I know we gave up that one touchdown, but it just, it's whatever. And I'm not too worried about that. But there's nothing else I really need to see. I kind of wish Grant would have made that one catch, but, you know, we're getting drop balls and then just bad throws. When your offense is predicated on the passing game and nothing's going well, then it's, it's kind of tough. <laughs> but you, you play through it. Not good protection there. So we are on the right hash again. I want to let him keep throwing. I'm okay with that. If he could just... I want to get him in a bit of a rhythm. I don't even have home field advantage turned on. Just a bad throw there. He had to come back for it. Man, he's just off. Um, we'll try this. We'll bring him over. Mm, ah, just good defense, I guess. So what is it? Third and six. We'll go deep attack. We're going zone. Do something like this, maybe. Hawaii comes out in the shotgun. drops to throw. Looking down the middle. Ah, just enough. Get a block right there. He may be going. Oh, oh you gotta be kidding! It can't be a whole. I mean. Well, it's just one of those days where nothing's going to work well. So, again, you're going to have them. So, it's third and forever from the 18. 
just a disaster. It is what it is. So where are we? We're still on the right hash. I mean, I can call deep attack again. We're going man. We could do something like this. I don't know. Maybe I can get the... Nope, he's going to get caught. Just, he's not fast enough. Because they didn't even go cover zero. They went cover one. So I had nobody open. I guess I could have went to Grant maybe. I'm sorry. It's just been a bad day. And I don't know what to do about it. Other than you just got to keep playing. Even Petty with 80 speed just wasn't fast enough to make that play. Somebody get a stop. I'm, I, the only thing I can think of right, that we haven't really done is just basic running, like handing the ball off. We can try some of that. I don't think it's going to help when, you know, the quarterback still has to make throws. I mean, we eventually still have to throw the ball. Ooh. That's good defense. We'll go quarters at a nickel. Play action. Big play, six points. Nope, I ain't going to get caught. Good job, Bale. I had to go over there and make the play myself. You see right here, I'm just running over there because there's nothing over there over here for me to defend. So I'm just going to go over here and get right in front of that. I just went to the closest guy I could find to defend. We can do something like this. I'm just trying to get a decent thumbnail. That's a pretty good one right there. So we got to get a touchdown. We're on the 12-yard line. Let's go tight into lay. They're on the right side and they're going zone. They start this drive. The Warriors come out the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Decent throw there. He ran a good route there. So what I'm thinking, it's on the five. Let's um I may need to do some P reads. I haven't really given it that much. I haven't thought about that. I've done one. And since we're in the red let's just run the ball here. When performance matters the most. Single setback. Ah, just Here's good defense. Again, it's just it's just not jiving. I'm gonna call the same play. We're going zone here. We should be able to get at least the first. As long as the blocking's good. That's key. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. Scrubs. You I didn't get it. I swear. I didn't get it. Ah, you I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna, I'm I'm not going to just kick field goals, even though I probably should. I got to figure out something here. There we go. Ah. So he broke the all-time rushing record at the school, which doesn't say a whole lot because we don't have him doing a, a ton other than the goal line stuff. But it's good to see him break a record. He's been here long enough to break it, I guess. So our defense was able to get the offense going a little bit. Of course, we didn't do a whole lot offensively. It was a, a challenge just to get that touchdown. A total of 12 yards on that offensive drive. Should be a decent kick, but it probably will be returned. Dorch takes it at the four. Good stop there. This is the first time Louisiana Tech has given me troubles, but it's not them, it's more us. Just again, Petty's just he's having his first real off day of the season of his career, I guess. Drops back to pass. Throws. I, ow. I need to quit doing it. <laughs> I'm just having a bad day on defense. I just, I panicked, I guess. We'll try it again. One day, I mean, one game or play, I can make a great interception. The next, I just whiff on a tackle. At least I can get a stop there. I was afraid to get in front of it. I, I would have messed it up. It's third and inches. Let's do a 4-4 this time. It's third and inches. Ball on their own 31. Louisiana Tech lines up in a goal something. line. And where? Offsides. Offsides. 
As you can tell, the whole vibe of the game is just off. You bet they are. That's an easy way to pick up yards. It happens. It's part of football. I'll go back and run more quarters. Maybe I can pick off another one. Nope, he's going to run with it. That's a good stop. He had nowhere to go. A sack by Miller. Our defensive tackle. Go back right here. Looks like I got three guys on my side to cover. Ooh, overthrew it. He threw it too early. That's why I, nobody was there. We'll go Cloud. It's third and 14. I'm going to go after him like normal. It's going to be kind of tough for him to get the 15 yards by himself. So let's see if I can just get to him on my own. Yep, he's going to run with it. Yeah, I figured that'd be too tough for him to get the first. So we got to stop on the 40. We'll still do a basic return. So I think my first play is going to be a handoff, like just a basic handoff of some sort. He punts it. That's a good punt. We may have some room on the left. Glover takes it at the 20. Get some yards. So how about we go P.E. Reed? We're going zone nickel, so I'm going to go ahead and throw this one. Let's see, L1 and R1. He throws it. Complete. Hey, get about four yards. So they get about four yards from play We can stay here. Go curls. They're going man and they're blitzing at least that nickel. So we're gonna do something like this. Oops, didn't mean to do that. We'll go to Larson. They went cover one. Get a first down there. I'm gonna go right here and we're gonna go with a dive play. It's first and ten. Now watch him call something that I'm gonna to have to adjust. They're bringing everybody down. Come out in the ace formation. Ah, we're gonna get some yards out of it, but ooh, it's a face mask. They're not gonna call it. That was a good run. So it's first and ten. I'm just trying to help Petty a little bit. We're going zone dime here now. I wouldn't normally run in this situation, but. Their best players are on the left. Set up in the gun. So we'll go with something like this instead. He's looking. Watch the mm, just enough. Complete. Get the first down there. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't We're on the 19. Defense. The offense just executed. We'll go deep attack. I want to go deep attack because I want to see if I can get the a big play to Grant. So I normally don't call this on first and ten. The Warriors with four receivers. Nope, gotta have to run with it. Dang it. Just couldn't get off in time. They blitz perfectly on the right side. On the 28. I'm gonna go back to cross post only because they're going zone. Because we're gonna go to Grant right here. Because I notice Glover is out. The Warriors set up in the gun. Petty. Nah, dang it. We'll have to go over here. Just pressure. I just couldn't get a ball off in time. So it's third and 15. I'm going to let that clock go. I'm sorry, fellas. It's just been a bad day for us offensively. Hopefully that'll rest up some players heading into the quarter. The fourth. So that brings us to the end of the quarter. And at the end of three, our score. That gets Glover back. And they're going man here. Let me do something like this. The Warriors with four receivers drops back. To Dang it. Looks. Intercepted. The Terrible throw. That was just dumb on my part. That was not on Petty. That was on me. So they're on the 24. Just a bad play on my part. I shouldn't have done that. Now, I don't know if Jackson can make this. We'll find out. Jackson lined up for the field goal. He's going to need some distance on this one. Ooh, looks like it'll be a perfect kick. Good deal. Yeah, he had plenty of room for that one. Plenty of leg. So 24 to 7. Thank the Lord Louisiana Tech's offense isn't all that great. I mean, we've only given up one touchdown. This is going to be a touchback here. Dorch fields it in the end zone. 
offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their... Uh, we're up 17. I'm not too worried at this point. I think we got the game in hand. Unable to move it when it mattered most. But, Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and ah. they have to do the same here. Barry, That's a good throw. Nice Couldn't get there in time. Not only was it First and 10. Making, but the I'm going to go quarters here. Just long for him to find his Our blitzing hasn't worked to too well today. First down nine out of ten times. I don't have a whole lot of players to cover on this side unless everybody floods on my side. Turning. Sets up the play action. Ooh. Ball is tipped. Oh boy. Almost intercepted. intercepted. Second and 10. Defense was in a zone there, and the quarterback needs to do a better job of finding a passing. We'll go back to quarters. It's time for Nichols since they're spreading us out a little bit. We'll do something like this. Play action. Good throw. Nobody was there, but it's a fumble. Somebody pick it up. Murphy ended up getting it. We lucked out on that play. So we got to figure out how to get a touchdown. <laughs> I want to see, I mean, I would love to see Petty go right down the field with a good throw here and there, but let's see if he can do that. Now, they're going man. I'm going to leave it as he is. Going cover one. Wow, just got good catch by Rankley. Somebody came through. Second and four. We'll go curl Reed. They're going dime on this one. I want to do something like this. This may be the first game in his career where Grant hasn't even got to catch the ball. I think we got one with that screenplay from earlier. Good play to Davis. Okay, Petty's getting in a bit of a rhythm. Let's continue that. And they're going zone here, so we'll go back to Davis. I could run clock, but I'm not worried about that. Back to pass. He's looking and a sack. Short. Almost got Broke away from one. just the pressure. Very fortunate to get the ball off like I did. Second and six. Uh, what can we call? I feel like I'm... Hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Let's go slot screen. Second and six coming up here. I'm okay with what I'm seeing here. As long as they Watch out for the man get decent wide blocks. Wide right now. Get a first down for Grant. Did we get it? I think we did. First and 10. We'll go triangle. We're going man nickel. I'd like to do something like this. Going cover one. Terrible throw. I mean, we'll get the touchdown, but what happened here is you look at the corner. He done the same thing Oliver done from earlier. He got way in front of it. And he just stood there. That's just bad awareness on his part. You got to remember, they got terrible corners. So that doesn't surprise me that happened. Just a weird play, but we will take it. And that should end the game officially. We'll kick an extra point. And that may be a miss. Ooh, I barely got it in. I just hit the button too early. 31 to 7. The score doesn't look it, but. For those of you who have actually watched the entire thing, it's just been a little bit of a rough day offensively. This is going in the corner as well. He's going to return this one. That's a good tackle. My best, I think. We'll go quarters. They might start putting in some of those defensive players that really want to play bad. Ah, dang it, Al. Ah, that was just, I was way off on that one. My fault, my fault. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. I'll go back to his own blitz. They don't, they've been going play action, but hardly ever. Here we go. This is going to be a sack. This is our first sack off of play action. Second and 16. I'd line this kid up at defensive end every now and then. Wow. Could you I'll go back to quarters. Third long type situations, he'd make a great rush in, Kirk. I like that. I like I've already got my one interception for the day. I wouldn't mind getting another one. That's a good play right there. Good tackle, though. So that is third and 11. 
This one's going to be interesting. Now, this quarterback's quick enough to get the first down just off 11 yards. Let's do something like this. I may go to the outside on this one. Right. Ooh, good hit there by Hickman. They may go for this. Yep, they're going to go for it. Uh, right, let's just do another zone blitz. I'm okay with that. Good sack by LaFue. Look how quick he came through off the edge here. They, this kid's just an absolute stud. We needed it, though. Pinnacle we did. He went over the game is over with. But we are on the left hash. Let's go. I'm going to call my normal stuff. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position They're going here. zone. Do something like this. Hawaii lines up with three receivers. Petty, back to pass. Terrible throw. And it's incomplete. Just a bad day for him. It happens. Um, I completely forgot about this formation that I had it. It's my fault. That's true. Completely forgot we had it. Let's see if we can do something here, though. What I can do is bring this guy over. He drops back. Ooh, this is a bad play. I didn't throw the ball hard enough either. So it's third and seven from the 37. I'm going to run the ball. This will be a four down territory type of thing. We're going zone. We're doing that. Ooh. We'll go to the left and see what happens. Um, well, let's try something else. Let's, what happens if I do that? Get a block right there. Dang it. That's my fault. I didn't pitch it. I'm having a bad day, I guess. On the 35. I'm going to go for this. We'll go deep cross up. Make a play. Good deal. Good throw to Glover. We are on the 7. Being on the 35, that was a perfect time just to go for it. So we'll go slot screen. The pressure turns up when in the it's on my mind, so that's what we're going to call. He got bogged down a little bit on that one. I'm, I can call the same play again. I want to see if I get granted the end zone, because it's just not been his day to do anything. He had his chance on that one drop Let's ball, and it, of course it didn't work out. So he's going to get a touchdown at least. That was a bit of a forced touchdown. <laughs> That's okay. And then I'm going to take the rest of my guys out. We'll go mass subs. We'll put second team, offense, defense, and the like. The Warriors line up the punt. So you know you have a pretty good team when just your offense really struggles and you end up winning the game 38-7. to But our defense was incredible today. We had no real issues against that passing attack. Louisiana Tech dropping a couple passes did not help matters for them. That is a penalty. I guess I hit the button too late. Illegal procedure on the kicking team. First down. They'll be set up with good field position after the kick. I got to keep one out of bounds. It's the kicker's job to send that My 4-3 defense out there cuz I don't have enough guys to play anything else. Louisiana Tech comes to the line only one man in the backfield. We may give up a touchdown here just cuz our second string is in the game. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Throws it to the outside. And they make the stop. He stayed in bounds. Are they going to try to hurry up here? No, it looks like they're going to just call it like normal. Do something like this, maybe. Overthrew that one. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven foot guys. They're going four. I'll just stay too high, man, the rest of the way. Again, I don't have the corners to do, go nickel or even dime for that matter. Ace backfield. Kearney hands it off, makes a move. They may call a timeout here. And they will. I can do a zone blitz. I can call the things from the 4 3. They'll work from the shotgun. Cut. 
Intercept that. Ooh, it should have been picked off. Probably why he plays defense instead of offense. So this is going to be a, a long drive for them unless we can stop them. There's a shift by the linebacker. Back to pass. Looks. Good throw. Got him on the run. Satil. Just couldn't get to him in time. So like I said, they'll probably score on this drive before the game ends. The offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first. But I'm just glad I don't have my first string out there. There's no point. First and ten. Ball on the 26. Louisiana Tech lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw on first down. Good throw. I don't know what throw this was. Oh, that's that angle round. I don't know what play that's from. Yeah. Yeah, that's that uh, wide receiver under. That's a good man beater. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're I'm going to call to some cuz they're going to score. So we'll just throw something weird at him. We'll do like a fire two blitz. They can smell the goal line. Louisiana Tech goes with the ace set here. We go play action here. And ended up being a good call. We got the sack. I'm going to let that clock do its thing. Just let it take its time. Go get one more playoff. We're going... Ew, let's just... Let's go back to cover two. Man. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Kearney is back in the gun. He drops back. And I got annihilated on that one. And it was a bad throw. We know what that's like today. So it's third and 17. This kid needs to relax and get the ball down where his receivers can catch it. This is going to go to the end zone more than likely. And this one is third and long. Linebackers move over. Kearney drops back. He's looking. And we're going to get the sack. Good deal. That's a good way to end it because I didn't want them to score with a cheap touchdown. So that is the final 38 to 7. I was able to get around that defensive end. We will check out some stats. Again, 356 yards is a very low day for us. Just the passing game just wasn't where it needed to be, even though the completion per attempt was, looks really good. Everything was just a tad bit off. That's fine. Like I said, it happens. It's football. We were able to get plenty of sacks on them, though. Neither team did a very good job on third down. Thankfully, they had enough turnovers to really separate the game for us. We can look at individual stats. Of course, Petty, three touchdowns, one interception. It, it was his worst game of his career, but he'll overcome that no, with no problem. We didn't run the ball. Of course, our run game, it is what it is. We tried to run a little bit more than usual to help just a little bit. I think it helped some, but I don't know if it helped a lot. Glover ended up having the best game of the day. Davis had two touchdowns. Grant was able to get one, although he just didn't get the ball much in general. We only had one deep ball attempt for him, and it just didn't work. He just dropped it, you know. Uh, let's go to defense. So LaFue had the game of the day, of course. He had a great one. Seven tackles, one for loss, a sack, an interception. He will be like on the, uh, the WAG Players of the Week watch list on the defensive side for sure. All right, let's get out of here. And... Like I said, it is possible we was going to get both of those commitments, and that's what happened. Hawkins ended up committing along with John Cooper, the strong safety. We just put so many points on the kids. They just couldn't help but feel all the love that we threw at them. So that's good. We got those two. And we will go out of here, and let's go ahead and fix recruiting really quick. We'll talk about that at the beginning of the next Dynasty video. But we're down to one guy. Now, we got two other players we could go after. Like, for example, this outside linebacker, there's like a chance we can get him. I didn't think that was possible because, well, I take that back. We knew we was going after like three guys at the most, but we may have a chance here. So what I can do, let's just take a chance on this outside linebacker. That happened, what was the last season? At the tail end, we was able to sneak in and put some points on another kid and ended up getting him. If we throw 50 points at him along with the corner, I think that's going to be good enough to at least sneak into his top five. Surprisingly, he hasn't narrowed it down to his top five yet. I mean, he's built like any type of... I mean, he looks like a few. He's just a big outside linebacker who could run. He seems really smart. So let's go ahead and put 50 on him. We'll up the points for Josh Wilson as well. And he is coming to our next game, which is New Mexico State. 
Looks like pro prestige isn't primary concern along with school location. So Texas, Texas Tech, I don't know what he's looking for, to be honest. It could be coaching style. Let's just try that. Because when it says pre prestige isn't Josh's primary concern, that may mean both prestiges. It could be program or coach or both. Let's just play it safe and go with something else completely different. And we'll go with coaching style for him. So it looks like we're in good shape for recruiting. So now let's go check out some scores from the previous week. Let's go weekly and top 25. And let's go to week six. So we beat Louisiana Tech. Texas Tech, the number one team in the country, destroyed Kansas. Virginia Tech got beat by Duke. That's an upset. Iowa over Purdue. Let's do this right here. Let's go. Virginia got upset. Texas Tech won. Ohio State won. Miami won. Then we have Notre Dame over UConn. USC barely beat Oregon State. Texas A&M over Baylor. Nebraska over Iowa State. Then we have Colorado over Oklahoma State. That was a top 25 matchup. Minnesota over Illinois. NC State barely escaped Middle Tennessee State. LSU destroys Georgia. Looks like Georgia's having a really bad season. Tennessee beats Auburn. Florida beats Arkansas. South Carolina over Alabama. Oh, man, I wish that would happen in real life. Oklahoma beat Kansas State. And last but not least, we got Penn State over Michigan, which looked like the, the game of the week. And Florida State got upset by Georgia Tech. So there were some more upsets this week than what we've seen in the past. Okay, come on back. In our next Dynasty video, we will take on New Mexico State. It's just no different than what we just went through with Louisiana Tech. I said this team is winning games. They actually have a little bit more talent than Louisiana Tech, so we should see probably a little bit better offensive output from them, I would imagine. Hopefully, we'll get a better offensive output from our team. It was just a struggle today, but again, that's football for you. So come on back. We'll take on the Aggies, and I'll talk to you later.